my name is Dean. Let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is September 26th, 2021, and Bitcoin is looking bullish. Right now, we're on the hourly chart. We're on the hourly time frame, and we're watching Bitcoin actually complete as we as we speak. We're we're completing a wave two, which is a corrective wave uh, in Elliott wave theory, uh, onwards to a uh, wave three, or you can say we're breaking out of a bull pennant. Now, bull pennants are popular in technical analysis. Everybody charts them. Uh, they're easily recognizable, but the thing that most people fail to recognize is they're only about 50% accurate, right? If you print one, you may, it's like a 50, 50 chance of, uh, breaking up. I think it's slightly over 50% of breaking up to the upside, um, versus the downside. Now this game of technical analysis is all a game of probabilities, right? It's not a crystal ball. Nothing is hundred percent. So, uh, I would rather, instead of saying we're breaking out of a bull pennant, I would rather say that we're breaking the neckline of a W reversal pattern, as you see here, right? Uh, I hope everybody sees that, right? We came down, we came back up with the B wave, C wave. All right, let, let's, let's draw it out because I don't think everybody necessarily sees what I'm seeing. Some of you may, but some of you may not, right? So, we initially got rejected from 45k, right? And every rejection, according to Elliott Wave Theory, occurs in three parts, A, B, C. That A, B, C correction can look a number of different ways. I mean, uh, A, B, C corrections are some of the most complicated things in Elliott Wave Theory, um, but mastering them really gives you an edge because you know when reversals occur. All right, so A, B, the B, the A wave is in five parts, one, two, three, four, five. The B wave is in three parts, A, B, C. And the C wave is in five parts. And now I'm going to show my sub count, basically counting sub waves of the C wave. And that's where you get your edge, right? Uh, where you show, where is this? Here we go. Where you show where uh, a wave is complete. And when you know when a wave is going to complete, you know when it's going to reverse and you can enter, you can make your entry. So uh, basically this is what I did. I looked at the C wave and the C wave is in five parts, right? So I drew it out. One, two, three is the longest. Uh, it's not always the longest, but it's never the shortest. Four and then five which is one is five itself is made up of five sub waves. This is completely fractal. And I guess if you want to see it better, you want to move into lower time frames. Uh, but this is how I counted five, one, two, three, four is a complex correction since two was simple. And then five, two, three, four, five, which is itself made up of five waves. I hope everybody sees that. And I hope everybody grasps why Elliott wave theory can be complicated. It can be complex, but it's simple at its base. In principle, it's simple, but, uh, you know, these wave counts can get tricky. Uh, okay. And so this is why I determined here was the point of reversal and confluent with that is the candle that you get right? The reversal candle. It's a hammer candle with the long wick to the downside showing reversal to the upside. And indeed, we did get reversal to the upside with these green candles. We're on the 15 minute chart, by the way. And what happened after that? So I went long around here and I set my stop. I you know, mitigated my risk. You should always do that. Risk management's pretty much the name of the game when you're trading, right? But what happened was that we got rejected from the top of our range okay yeah we drew out this parallel range and if you're subscribed to the channel you'll know that parallel ranges are great why because when you break out of them you break violently to the upside 
or to the downside. So we got rejected at the top of our channel. And again, when you get rejected, how does it happen? Three parts, A, B, C. So that's why you see this A, B, C correction. I hope everybody sees that. That's why we came all the way down to 40, 41,000. And again, everybody uh, who said, oh, we're going down to 3837. If we were going down to 3837, we had ample opportunity to do so. We got rejected from the top of our channel and we rejected down to only 41,000. We actually formed a higher low because our previous low was at 39.6 or something thereabouts. On this chart, it's about 40,000. But on um, you know other charts, it's, it's a high 39,000s. So you get this ABC rejection. And from this ABC rejection, you get a strong uptrend, right? And this is what we have now. Uh, that's essentially, you can count that as the one wave of our new uptrend. And then from a one wave, you get a two wave. A two wave is corrective. Uh, you get an ABC correction, right? A, B, C. I hope everybody sees that. Let's go into an even smaller time frame and try and count it out and see when it will end. So A wave happens in five parts. One, two, three, four, five, if you will. B waves happens in three parts, A, B, C. The C is in five parts itself. The C of the A, B, C of the B wave happens in five parts. I hope I'm not confusing anybody, but this is Elliott wave theory. And if you want to get precise, you have to, you have to do these sub counts, okay? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are great, great manuals on Elliott wave theory. One of my favorite books called... Uh, Elliott Waves Made Simple, I think it's called. Elliott Waves Made Simple. I, I, I can't click out of the screen or else the stream will end. But I, I believe it's called Elliott Waves Made Simple. You can get it on Amazon. Great book. Um, I always refer to it. Anyway, so you get one, two, three. Where were we? Where were we? Okay, we're in the B wave. We're counting the B wave, A, B, C of the B wave, the 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 C of the B wave happens in five parts. And then lastly, you get the C wave, which is hap which happens in five parts itself. All right, we're on the three minute chart just because we're doing sub counts, okay? So one, two, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's actually go on the one minute chart. Sometimes you need to see more clearly in the smaller charts. So that's the B wave. And the C wave. One. All right. One, two, three, four, five. This is it. This is the end of the C wave. Okay. Um, this is, yeah, this is the end of the C wave, I believe, right here. Okay. And here, basically, once you get... Everything here is basically an attempt to break out. We got rejected, A, B, C. Again, we come back, get rejected off of this trend line. This trend line is driven uh, or it's automatically drawn in. I've got a new indicator I'll be talking about shortly, but it's basically a sh uh, showing where price is likely to get rejected. The, the red is where price is likely to get rejected. The green is where price is likely to get likely to get supported. Okay. So basically we're finding support on the 144 EMA on the one minute chart, right? We're, we're really zoomed in. So don't give too much credence to er everything here, but basically we're looking to break out. We've completed, technically we've completed the two wave of the uh, five wave Elliott wave to the upside. Okay. So that's where we are right now with Bitcoin. Sorry, one moment, my son. Attends, s'il te plaît. Je viens, j'arrive. Okay? J'enregistre. Je viens. Okay? All right. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're, we're essentially done. And confluent to that is here on the 15-minute chart, we're rounding out the bottom. We're almost bottomed out on the stochastic RSI. And we're rounding out 
making our way back up. Same on the five minute chart. We're at an inflection point. So I personally am long. I've been long since this range here. Uh, I didn't expect the rejection, uh, but I am personally long and I'm actually setting my stops not too much lower than this because I, I feel like a uh, reversal is imminent. All right, so what are our targets? Okay, if we took this as a bull pennant, let's zoom out, let's go back to the hourly. Okay, right here, if we took this as a bull pennant, it would be the length of the flag superimposed at the site of breakout, which should be around now or the next hour. Let's put it in the middle here. We should get 46,233. That's a technical, technical target. Issue with that is it's unlikely to reach the technical target because there's so much resistance here. Okay. And let's go now into first, let's look left and see why there's so much resistance here. You're going into this this uh, mini consolidation on the B wave here that happened uh, when we first dropped on September 7th, right? And anytime you get a range, uh, a horizontal range, it base and you're under it, it's basically strong, strong, strong resistance, just like if you're above it, it's strong support, right? So I don't believe that we're going to hit the technical target of 46. And if I'm going long, which I am, and I want to find a realistic target. And here I'm going to pull out this new indicator I've got. Uh, it's called Vital Algo. I've been playing with it for quite some, well, for about 20 hours. I've been playing with it. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to look at some supply and demand zones. <laughs> I'm going to look at some supply and demand zones here. And... I'm going to go on the smaller time frames here. Just give it a second to populate. There we go. And it looks as if we have some small supply zones at 45. But let's go on the 15 minute chart. Wait it wait for it to populate for a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't see what I saw before. So these supply and demand zones are calculated historically, not from the order books. Uh, but I thought I saw I was looking on my phone, I thought I saw um, some strong uh, uh, supply zones at around 45, a little over 45. So maybe 46.2 is a realistic target. Maybe that is a realistic target for this move that we're getting here. And I expect, I do expect a reversal imminently, just like I said, look, we're getting across on the 15 minute um, and we have a box of demand, right? A demand zone based on this vital algo indicator. Uh, we're basically sitting on top of a demand zone. So that's confluent with uh, our Elliott wave count of the two wave being almost or complete, right? And so basically we're pretty much forming an X wave or reversal, which is a horizontal reversal. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll know. After an Elliott wave uh, correction, you'll usually get an X wave. That's a horizontal wave denoting reversal. And I think that is imminent. And so we should be hitting thereabouts 46.2. Uh, but once we get there, just like before, right? When we hit 45, expect some kind of massive resistance. Uh, and you, know, you can look left and see why. So that's pretty much Bitcoin. I expect to take profit at about 46K. Uh, 46.2 maybe. 
Um, I'm just I'm going to watch it as soon as it gets close to 45, between 45 and 46. And let's zoom out really quickly and see. Uh, let me turn these off. Uh, all right. Actually, I'll leave them on. They're not too noisy. All right. So what I expect once we hit that is hopefully we turn 45K into support. Uh, we spend a little time there, a retrace, and that would be confluent with our Elliott wave count, uh, the four wave, right? And the four wave, if you count it using Fibonacci, if we do hit this technical target, the four wave usually corrects the four wave usually corrects to the seven, eight, six. Okay, so that is a 32% correction thereabouts. And that should give us a 45, five, right? Somewhere thereabouts. So basically turning 45K into support. And then we would be completing our fifth wave, uh, attacking that 50,000 range once again. So that's basically what I see for Bitcoin. Uh, we are in an uptrend. And yeah, just be careful once we get around that 45K region, right? Because that was the site of the first rejection. And as you know, sometimes it takes multiple chances to get through a difficult resistance zone. So I hope that was helpful. Hope that was useful. Um, this new indicator, Vital Algo, uh, I will be partnering with them. So they will be a, a, a partner to the channel. So I'm going to do a full review uh, once I have a, a longer look at everything that uh, they have to offer. And there should be an offer for subscribers to the channel. So look out for that. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.